Each year, more than 100 billion eggs are produced in the United States. To produce this enormous quantity of eggs, millions of hens are necessary. But how are chicken eggs formed? We visited a poultry farm to discover how chicken eggs are made and processed. In the poultry farms of the United States, the production of chicken eggs begins with the breeding of hens specifically intended for egg laying. The hens are housed in barns designed to maximize their comfort in egg production. The entire process begins in the chicken coop, where hens start laying eggs at 19 weeks of age. Around 1,800,000 eggs are produced here each week. The operation is fully automated and computer controlled. The building is well ventilated, with temperatures and humidity strictly controlled to stimulate laying. Fluorescent lighting simulates 15 hours of daylight. The hens are fed up to three times a day by fully automated feeders that bring food from the silos, ensuring that the hens have constant access to fresh food. The feed is formulated to meet the nutritional needs of the birds, including a combination of grains, proteins, minerals, and vitamins necessary for the production of high-quality eggs. The hens also drink water inside their cages. All these carefully monitored conditions are designed to maximize yield. Each hen can produce a maximum of one egg per day. It takes approximately 26 hours between laying one egg and developing the next. On average, a hen lays around 300 eggs per year. The process of egg formation in a laying hen is a biological marvel. When a hen is in its active laying stage, the nutrients from the food it consumes are converted into the essential components that will form the egg yolk. These elements are transported through the bloodstream from the liver to the ovary, where the magic happens. Tiny tissue sacs known as follicles gradually fill with yolk and expand in size. The largest and most mature follicle in the ovary will release the yolk that the hen will deposit the next day. This sequence follows its course, where the next largest follicle will produce the yolk for the following day, and so on, over a span of one to two weeks. A follicle develops from less than 1 mm in diameter to reach the mature size of 25 mm. When a yolk has reached maturity, the follicle breaks along a line with few blood vessels, known as the stigma, releasing the yolk. At this point, the yolk embarks on a journey that lasts approximately 24 hours along the oviduct. During this journey, the yolk passes through various stages of development. It is in the infundibulum where the yolk, emerging from the follicle, moves to the upper part without being covered by an egg white layer. This specific moment is the only time the yolk is not surrounded by the egg white layer. The yolk remains in the infundibulum for approximately 15 minutes before continuing its journey to the magnum, where in about 3 hours it will be coated with a dense layer of egg white. Subsequently, the yolk and egg white pass into the isthmus, the next section of the oviduct, where the shell membranes are deposited. These thin layers of protein gently envelop the egg white that covers the yolk, forming a structure that gives the egg its characteristic firmness. Then the partially formed egg advances to the final part of the shell formation process, where in approximately 20 hours, the egg's protective structure is completed. At this stage, a thin layer of egg white, primarily water, is secreted and transferred through the two shell membranes into the more concentrated egg white surrounding the yolk. This process gives the egg its characteristic shape and tightens the shell membranes around it. Next, a highly concentrated calcium carbonate solution is secreted, forming calcite crystals on the outer shell membrane. As these crystals expand, they interlock to form a solid structure while leaving tiny spaces between them that become the shell pores. Finally, a special protein solution called cuticle is deposited on the egg shell. This cuticle, although allowing gases to pass through the pores in the shell, acts as a protective barrier against bacteria, ensuring the egg's integrity and safety. Once this shell formation process is completed, the full egg is expelled from the hen's body. Next, the fully formed egg begins a new journey. If it has been fertilized, it will be sent to an incubator, whereas if it has not, it will be sent to an egg processing and packaging plant for distribution to supermarkets. The handling of the eggs is fully automated. After laying, the eggs roll onto a conveyor belt in front of the cage. They then move onto a larger conveyor belt that transports the eggs to the packaging room. The hen's droppings fall through the bottom of their cages onto a conveyor belt. Still, some eggs get dirty, 
so they are thoroughly cleaned and disinfected later. The conveyor belt carries the eggs to an elevator at the end of each row. The flow of eggs quickly becomes a flood as the conveyor belts carry the eggs to the sorting room. The eggs enter the building from all the barns collected. A worker checks for dust particles and debris that may remain on the eggs as they move on the conveyor. At this station, the eggs are graded by quality. The best end up on supermarket shelves, while the lower grades are sent to egg processing plants. There, they are turned into ingredients used in food products like mayonnaise, cake mixes, or salad dressings. The sorting station is automated, high-tech, and high-speed, processing 144,000 eggs per hour. A suction machine lifts the eggs from the trays and takes them to a cleaning station. At this station, a washer with soap and disinfectant gently cleans the eggs at 45 degrees Celsius. They then pass through a dryer for 5 seconds to evaporate the moisture. The egg inspector examines the shell for dirt and uses a special light to inspect the interior for irregularities or blood spots. The eggs pass through a bright light to highlight the condition of the shells. Workers perform a visual inspection and remove any cracked eggs. Later, a sorting camera evaluates the exterior of the shells. Acoustic sensors tap the eggs to check their strength, rejecting those that do not meet the quality grade. Approved eggs move on to electronic scales and are transported to the corresponding packaging line. Each egg is stamped with a lot number for quality control. A packaging machine places the eggs in containers and stamps expiration dates. They are placed with the wide end up to keep the yolks properly positioned. Are they ready to be shipped to supermarkets? The lower quality eggs are sent to the egg processing plant. They are then stored in a control cooler before being sent to advanced separators. There, the liquid is extracted before pasteurization and packaging for sale. The eggs go through a washing machine that uses mild detergent and hot water to remove dirt and potential pathogens from the shell. They are then rinsed with hot water to remove detergent residues. The state-of-the-art egg separator processes all shelled eggs, separating the yolks from the whites after breaking them into defined cuts. This incredible machine can separate the yolk from the white of over 2 million eggs a day. When the eggs reach the machine, a blade cuts the shell, and the egg breaks. The contents inside fall downward, keeping the yolk on top and allowing the egg white to flow into the bottom cup. As they pass through the separator, small vibrations encourage the egg whites to drain through small holes in the sides of the cups. It is difficult to separate the yolk from the white due to a very delicate membrane surrounding the yolk. Once separated, the yolks are channeled through pipes to the pasteurization section to eliminate bacteria and pathogens. They undergo a temperature-controlled pasteurization process. Then the yolks are quickly cooled to prevent bacterial growth. When the process is complete, plastic bags are filled with the separated yolks, labeled, and shipped from the factory to consumers. Give a like to the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel and activate notifications to keep learning.